this video, we'll be taking a look at how you might use the step mode and control mode together to create more interesting patterns and sequences. Let's start by first creating a really simple pattern in step mode. So we're going to start with kick 8081, and this is going to go on the 1, the 5, the 9, and the 13. So I'll start playing this. There we have our kick drum. The next thing we are going to do is add a clap. So go select, then we're going to select clap 808. Now this clap is going to go on the 5 and the 13. All right, let's add another element. Now we are going to add the snare 2. So we'll go select, then we're going to go to snare 2. There we go. Now we're going to add the snare on the 2, the 7, the 10, and 15. So we go 2, 7, 10, 15. Finally, we are going to add a cowbell to round it all off because you can always use more cowbell. So we're going to go select, cowbell, and then we are going to put this on 16. Now let's move on to control mode. So we'll put it into control mode by clicking control up at the top. And now that we have our pattern laid out, we're going to edit some of the sound parameters to just make it a little bit more interesting. Let's start by first changing the level of our cowbell, since that was the last sound that we were working with. So you want to make sure that you have set yourself to sound. And now we are going to go to the out tab. We talked about this in our control mode video. So we're going to go ahead and just lower the volume down a bit. So we'll go to about minus uh, 12 or so. And we're going to pan this a little bit to the right. So we're going to go pan just to about 30%. Now let's go and select our snare. So we'll go select. And we're going to go to our snare 8082. For this, we are also going to change the level. So we'll go down just a little bit to about 6. And we'll leave it at that. Next, we're going to go to the clap. So we'll do select, clap. And for this one, we are actually going to start by changing the level and the pan. So we'll change the level back down to about minus 12 or so, and we're going to pan this to the left. So we'll do pan minus and about 34 is right. Now on the clap, we are also going to change the pitch a little bit. So we're going to go into our modules, and then we're going to want to make sure we're set to sampler. We're then going to go to the second page. So we can use this button here, go to the second page, and then we are going to change the tune down to something like four. Now let's take a listen to our pattern now, and you'll notice that's much more interesting than we had it before. So this has been a quick overview of how you can use the control mode or the step sequencer mode to create more interesting patterns that you can use in your live performance or production.